Hello everyone. Um, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Petra Hoffman. I'm the founder of Hepatitis C Global Initiatives and I wish to extend a warm welcome here today to you students at the University of Kyoto, the Kyoto University. We have a warm hello from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And today I want to tell you guys why it is so important that as you learn about Hepatitis C that you share your information and your knowledge with the rest of the world. It's so important that we get everybody tested, that we remove the stigma, that we let the world know that although this is a blood-borne disease, it is not just junkies and addicts that get infected with this virus. If you have been to the dentist, get tested. Um, anything where there's blood-to-blood -blood transfer, if you've yeah, um, shared nail clippers with your family, if you've shared a toothbrush, if you've shared razors, anything that carries blood, tattoos, piercings, anything that carries blood can, can, can carry this disease and it lives for over 72 hours. So it's imperative that everyone get tested. It's a world pandemic which was stated by the World Health Organization in a press release in May of 1998. They say that one in 12 people has this uh, globally, that 75% don't know it. So between hepatitis B and C, there's 1.5 million people that die every year of, of this disease. And um, those, as I say, are the rates from 14 years ago. So we're not even sure what they are now. Only that we have recently, the death rates of hepatitis C have surpassed the death rates of HIV. So that tells you something right there, guys. And I've got articles if anybody needs to, verification of this. I've got articles. If you guys have any questions at all, you can contact me directly at uh, uh, globalinitiativescharity.com. Now, another thing I really wanted to touch on that is so important is that hepatitis C runs line in line and is linked to many other diseases. And this is what no one in the world discusses much either. 80% of most cancers are directly related to the hepatitis B and C virus. 80% of liver cancer, 80% of prostate cancer, 80% of non-Hodgins lymphoma, 50% of kidney cancer, and now many other cancers are being linked to the virus. Um, in my opinion, that would be because every organ in your body becomes inflamed with the hepatitis virus and uh, perhaps it stirs up the cancer cells, but it will eventually turn into cancer if it's not treated. There's many new treatments on the horizon. We've got a new treatment out. Um, it's got the interferon, ribavirin, and a protease inhibitor, and we're seeing up to 80% success rate, even people that were non-responders before. Um, hepatitis B and C are also linked to type 2 diabetes. One third of those cases are linked to the virus. We've recently found another link to mono, mononucleosis. If you or anyone you know has been diagnosed with mono, especially pre-1992, a lot of physicians in those days thought it was the non-A, non-B, and if they didn't know that much, they called it mono. There's a definite link between the two. So um, I just needed you guys to know why it is so important that as you learn about this disease, to please, please pass this information on to everyone you know. Ask people if they've been tested. Ask them if they've had mono. Ask them if they've been to a dentist and to please get tested and ask for the test. I don't know in Japan, but here in Canada, we have to ask for the test separately. It isn't involved in all of your blood work. So people that go and go to the doctor and say, run me for everything, it's not automatically run because there's an extra fee. 
So I hope you guys are having fun learning and I hope you share this information in the, with the world and to help the Hep C community to get people tested and hopefully cured. Thank you very much guys and have a good day.